Hey guys, before we jump into today's fun little DIY IKEA hack, I wanted to let you know that I have a blog called Delicious and DIY where you can find tons of home decor, DIY furniture, makeovers, DIY crafts if you guys are interested. Just hop on over, also give this video a like, subscribe, hit that bell notification and drop a comment down below as well. If you are a fan of IKEA hacks, so the idea for today's DIY was to use a basket from IKEA and kind of make it into like a coffee table. I've seen so many DIY versions of this basket. Some people have made it into like a chandelier, like a hanging light. Others have used it as a table but with like a wood tabletop. But I'm going to do a different spin on my DIY basket hack. The price for this basket is around $27. It's pretty affordable if I say so myself and it looks really good. The design is good. It's pretty sturdy as well. It comes with a handle, which I don't really need for my project. So the easiest way to cut those handles or take it off is by using a cutter. I already cut off the handles of my basket, but I'm going to show you guys. You could use a cutter or you could use a scissor to cut it off. And then after that, you just have to grab the handle and just hold it up and it will easily come off. Flip the table over and we will move on to the next step, which is using some colorful yarn you could of course keep the basket as is and you would be done but i wanted to add some color to my coffee table you could also use paints if you don't want to use yarn you will need a hot glue gun and these are the glue sticks that i use which are the gorilla glue sticks which are great for this project so i wanted to cover these joints of the basket by using the yarn and it's a very simple process you only need to use a little bit of the hot glue then grab a piece of yarn and start covering that area. I went with the colors hot pink and dark blue. Really just start wrapping the yarn around the area where you applied the glue. I like to start from the top and make my way down. So if there is any gaps or spaces left, I can always wrap that area again with yarn. This part can be a little time consuming, but it's all worth it at the end. It's just mostly applying some glue and then, you know, wrapping the yarn all around. I love how simple and affordable this DIY IKEA hack is, but at the same time, it's really trendy as well. There's so many ways you can add color to this basket. Like I'm using yarn, you could also use paint and, you know, just paint the joints of the basket with the same colors or you could use some neutral colors as well, depending on the color palette in your home decor. The DIY IKEA hack is really really simple. I think it took me about an hour to fully complete the basket and I gave it like a full 24 hours to fully dry before I actually started using the table. When one part of the basket was complete with the pink and blue colors, I went ahead and started wrapping the other part with different colored yarn. I used a light green color and a light blue color. This was the only part left where I had to use yarn and after that comes the fun part where we actually make the tabletop part of this basket. I'm going to fast forward the next part because I really want to jump ahead and show you guys the final result and how I made this basket into an actual functioning coffee table and a bunch of other IKEA hacks that are really simple to do as well.
So for the tabletop part of this coffee table, I used a mirror and on the IKEA website you can see there's like a bunch of options for round shaped mirrors and the one that I went with is this one and it retails for about $30 and the best part is that it has this like curved edges to it which is perfect to be used as a tabletop and it also comes like in a bunch of different colors if you're interested in a different color other than beige comes in gray and white as well you will be needing a strong glue to keep the mirror in its place and i use the e6000 glue apply the glue all around evenly go over any edges or any bumps and you know apply a good amount of glue so that the mirror is in its place and doesn't move when it's dry after that it's just a matter of placing the mirror on top and there you have it you have yourself an IKEA basket coffee table made just by using a mirror and a basket and I think it turned out pretty good the total came to about if you include the supplies the mirror and the basket to about $65 and here is the final result you guys So for this next IKEA hack, I used an IKEA cabinet and turned it into like a credenza which could be used like in a dining room. I basically used the IKEA cabinet called Ivar um, and you know I customized it in my own way. I added legs to it. I made these drawer handles or poles whatever you would like to call them. Myself, I used resin some colored stones and glitter and you know added my own little spin to it and it turned out amazing also the full step-by-step -step process is on the blog deliciousndiy.com just search the term ikea and a bunch of ikea projects will come up and i have the whole process the materials i use on this explained quite clearly and it's were really easy to follow step by step. This next IKEA hack, which will be our third hack, is also a fun one. I use the basic IKEA lamp, which has like this paper material, and I used watercolor paint to transform the lampshade into this ombre kind of effect. It was really easy to do as well. And if you're interested in how I made this lampshade, how I painted it, and what supplies I used on this project, you can always search on the blog and you will see the complete supply list and the step-by-step -step as well. And here we are on our fourth and final IKEA hack, which is where I used the IKEA lac table and transformed it just by using some stencils and some paints. I am 100% sure if I was going to freehand this design, I would have never been able to paint it. And a stencil, honestly, in these situations is perfect. And this IKEA like table is a pretty affordable table as well. I think it retails for about $10 and it comes in two colors as well, white and black. You have it guys, these were my IKEA hacks. And I hope you guys liked them. And if you did, be sure to subscribe and like. And I will see you guys next week with a brand new video. Until then, bye guys.